What's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to access the 32K model of GPT-4. As most of you already know, we do have access to GPT-4, the 8K model, but OpenAI is slowly rolling out the 32K model first to developers and then to the general public. So most people, including myself, do not have access to the 32K model. But I found a website, it's called notnat.dav, and it has a variety of different models, not just OpenAI models. Essentially, the idea here is that this is gonna be a playground that you can come to, and you can choose between any large language model in the world. So as you can see, we have Open Playground, we have Banana, we have Huggin' Face, we have Anthropic, which I've done some reviews on, we have OpenAI. So we have all of the most popular large language models that you can choose from in one place. The idea here is that you can come to this playground mode and you can combine different models to get the desired outputs that you are looking for. So this is pretty cool. I like the idea here because there's going to be a variety of different models to choose from and it's impossible to have that all in one place because they're from different companies. So as you can see, we have access to GPT-4, 32K, and we have access to the second model, which is 0314. But this is an older model, so let's use the GPT-4 32K model and see how it works on this playground mode. In order to test this model, first I'll be copying a large amount of text from this article, and I'm going to paste it into the model and ask it to extract the main information from this article. And because it's using the 32K, um, it should be able to do so. Now let's go ahead and submit this and see if we're able to get some generations. I'm not entirely sure how good this is going to be because this is not our own model on OpenAI, so I'm not too sure how um, good of an output we'll be able to get back, but let's go ahead and give it a try to see if we can have early access to GPT-4 32K model. Okay, so if we scroll down, we do get some outputs here. So this research investigates the impact of social media addiction on college students, mental health, and academic performance, and tests the effectiveness of an intervention program in reducing social media addiction. The study found that social media addiction was negatively associated with students' mental health and academic performance, and that the relationship between social media addiction and mental health was mediated by self-esteem. Okay, so it is pretty cool that we were able to get some outputs here, because this is, as you can see, is a large... Um, chunk of text here, definitely more than the 8K model could handle. So we do see that it is working. Um, we were able to get some outputs here. And I forgot to mention earlier, but you do need to pay $5 to use this playground. It was free, but it's very costly to the developer. So you just have to pay $5 into your account, and then you have access to all of these different models. That is one use case of the 32K model, and that is inserting a large piece of text and asking it to extract the main information from that text. So I'm pretty happy with the outputs here. Let's go ahead and delete this and try another output. For this prompt, I'll be asking the AI to write a 10,000 word ebook on how to start a business. And I'm gonna increase the maximum length on the right here. And as you can see, we can go all the way up to 32K. We can increase or decrease the temperature. We have the frequency penalty, presence penalty, number of samples, stop sequence, and so on. So we have all of the same settings that we would have in OpenAI's playground, but it's all available here. So let's go ahead and submit this and see if we are able to get the output that we have in mind. So we're getting an error, so I don't think that output is going to work. Let's go ahead and reduce the maximum length and see if that makes a difference. So it seems as though that does make it, oh no, it doesn't. So it cannot assist us with that. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I've asked it to just write an ebook about how to make money online. I didn't put any sort of um, targets in terms of word length. So let's go ahead and see how much content we're able to get back here. This doesn't seem like it's going to be long by any uh, means because we're already on chapter six. So it's only writing very short pieces of content. And I don't know if it's using the GPT-4 model because the GPT-4 model is kind of slow in writing and this is pretty quickly. So I'm not entirely sure if it's using GPT-4 or a different model, but uh, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. As you can see, this is the output that we get back here. Um, we get a title, we get the chapter one, chapter two, and up to chapter 12. Okay, so I've told it to expand this ebook so that it's much larger. Now let's see if that's able to work and give us more outputs. Okay, so this is the expanded ebook. And again, as you can see, it's not very long. So maybe what we can do here is we can just copy over the title and chapter one. So I've asked it to write a 1000 word chapter on this title above and the chapter one. So I've just kind of split up the input so that we can get much longer outputs. And as you can see here, sometimes the storage gets full. So once it does, you have to download that because it doesn't store it. Because again, that is probably expensive for them. So as you can see, it's a little bit choppy and that's because it is a free tool. 
but it is nice that we have all of these different models here that we can play around with and once all of those models become available and i guess once you can also insert your own api key it should be a lot smoother to use so as you can see here you are able to get fairly decent outputs i don't know how comparable this is to gpt 32 k because i haven't used that as yet but it is good because you're able to get a nice kind of first touch on um on the 32k model but again i like this tool because you can combine it with other models so i can combine this with gpt 3.5 i can combine this with the anthropic models claude v1 and claude instant and cohere as well so i like the ability to be able to uh, combine different models and use that all together to get your desired outputs but for right now i don't necessarily like the gpt um, 32k model because i think it's a little bit choppy but if you would like to check out the 32k model and play around with it then this would be a great tool to do so also let me know in the comments below if you have access to the 32k model i don't currently have access to it but i suppose that i will be getting access in the next couple of weeks but let me know below if you have access to it as always i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already till next time stay well